One of the biggest questions we get as we travel the world is what do you do for cell phone service? Yes, we have gotten this question a lot and it was a big concern for us when we got started traveling and the landscape is constantly changing. There's new services, new equipment all around the world. So it's, it's complicated. Yeah, and one of the key considerations is what is the duration of your travel? Is it for a week or is it for months at a time? So today we're gonna talk about all of those and consider what is the best option for you? Maybe we can help you figure it out. Let's get started. We're John and Beth, and we are the Retirement Travelers. We are currently in Auckland, New Zealand. We have spent about a month in New Zealand traveling the North and South Islands, and we are having a great time. Today, we're sitting in the backyard of two of our viewers, Valerie and Pat, who've invited us here to talk travel, and we've had a great time. Yes, thanks. It's a great way to wrap up our visit in New Zealand. I mean, we've been going all over both islands. We have lots of blogs. You can check out our website. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter and get all the information on this amazing country. We also vlog our way around the world, so you can check out our vlogs from time to time, but we also do videos like this where we answer a viewer's question. Yes, we like to try to, you know, give information back to people when they have a question, and I tell you, cell phone coverage is always a big question that people have. So, so let's let's get going. So let's talk about the two types of services that are offered in the United States. One is the traditional a T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon. They offer the service that everyone's familiar with, unlimited Wi-Fi, unlimited phone, and that's generally what most people have. When they travel abroad, then you can generally add on packages and they all offer something a little bit different, but it can go like this. You pay $10 a day when you land and you use your phone in another country, you get charged $10, you get unlimited internet, and that works for a lot of people different plans, different companies, but that's kind of the, the idea. You add on a service. And that's typically what we did when we did vacations for a week or so uh, abroad. We would do uh, one of those packages with, I think it was yeah, Verizon, Verizon at the time. So let's talk about our service. We use Google Fi and, and we love Google Fi. <laughs> you know, it, it's- uh, We really what, love Google yeah, Fi. Yeah, what, what works well for us is we get to keep our own phone numbers. And when you step off the plane in another country, it just magically works. Uh, you have data, uh, everything was perfect. So when we left for Panama back in 2021, we had Google Fi service and we got off the plane and all throughout Central America, it was working great until after about three months, we got a love letter from Google Fi that said, <laughs> guys, you've been out of the United States for more than 90 days. We're gonna cut off your international data. And we obviously didn't read the fine print of Google Fi, but to make a long story short, we lost our international data and you know we had to turn to physical SIM cards when we were in Colombia. And that was pretty easy. We actually were a little nervous about, oh, how do we get a SIM card? But we walked into a phone store and basically handed them our phone and said, can we get a SIM card? And they set it all up and we were perfect. Yeah. It was the easiest thing. And, and then we went back to the United States and we got our Google Fi service back. Everything was working. We left again for Europe. It was working. We thought, hey, Maybe they maybe they like us better now, <laughs> but you know what? After 90 days abroad, you know if you're not pinging in the United States, you get another love you letter. Got another love letter. They <laughs> really they, love you. they really love us, and they said, guys, you are once again out of the United States for more than 90 days. We're going to cut you off, and they did, and it was back to the physical SIM cards all over Europe. And it was easy. Yes. Once again. Yeah. Once again, I mean, we we went all over the Balkans. It didn't matter whether it was Italy. Greece, um, Croatia. Uh, we typically used Vodafone and we would just hand them our phone and they'd give us a Vodafone SIM card and boom, it worked pretty well. Uh, so overall, it wasn't a disaster, but we, it'd be nice just to have one plan. That's right. But Google Fi works for most people. If you're taking a vacation yeah. for a couple of months and you're just going to be gone less than three months, they really love you and yeah. they really want to cater to you. But if you're gone like us, it's not a great plan. So if you've got any connections with Google that could maybe send some of that love <laughs> back to, to reinstate us, we would, we would like that. So let's fast forward to 2023. When we came home from Europe, we got new cell phones. We got the iPhone 14, which is an awesome 
awesome phone yes. because the camera is incredible. Amazing camera. Amazing camera. But they have a little problem in the U.S. They have no SIM card slots. Yeah. No, phys only, no physical SIMs. Only eSIMs, which we weren't really scared of because we knew that Google Fi was an eSIM. So we had already had that set up and we knew that we needed to add in eSIMs. And uh, so what we decided to do was a ton of research. Yes, we, a ton. Yes, we read every review that we could find and it kept pointing back to one uh, company called Aerolo. So Aerolo, we did a little more research and it turns out that that is a great uh, international global eSIM uh, that has worked well for us. Yeah, so we signed up for the global plan because we were coming down to Oceania and we were going to Southeast Asia and we were moving around to many different countries pretty quickly. So we decided to sign up for the global plan and that has worked great. It is actually an app that you put on your phone and you go in and you select the area. It loads it. It was so seamlessly yeah, done. And the, it, it was not a hard process. I would process. say ease, ease of use and flexibility uh, are the two greatest things about Aerolo. I mean, you can, we got ended up with the global package because we were going to so many different countries, but you can also do like six different regional package. Mm -hmm. And then recently we were in French Polynesia at Tahiti, and it turns out that's not one of the countries. So you can do an add-on uh, eSIM for just French Polynesia. So uh, with the iPhone 14s, you have up to eight eSIMs, so you can easily just add an eSIM here and there for different countries. So no matter where you're going in the world, you can either use a global package, a regional package, or a country package, and Aerolo will take care of you. Yeah, we love Aerolo. We'll leave a link below if you click on on it and you use Aerolo as well, we get a little little tiny commission. I think we are set for the future. It's a kind of a combination of keeping our our Google Fi for our phone calls and texting and having our number because you still need your phone number for a whole bunch of things overseas. Yeah. Um, but Aerolo works great from a from a data standpoint internationally. So yeah. we think our problem is solved. This is a good. This was a good move for us. Yeah, we love Google Fi, and if they go all out, we'll if, probably if go they, back to them. If Google Fi would someday let you, you know, be out of the United States for more than ninety days, uh, we maybe would go back. Could, maybe you could find a little Googler that could flip a yes, switch for any, you. Yes, any any Googlers, please please help us out <laughs> Send there. Send us but, some more love. Only better love but, letters. But my time. my guess is that isn't going to happen. So we're gonna we're gonna have the marriage of Google Fi and Aerolo for the for foreseeable future. So where are we off to next? We are off to Taipei, Taiwan. We are so excited. We are so Another excited. Another new country for us. So. Yes. So stay tuned. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.